Hey you, yeah, you, I see you sitting there, 830 super credits to your name, and you just don't feel like putting an hour of your time into an operation that might give you 30, might give you about 50 super credits if you're lucky. That's tough. Do you know how I know this? I was the absolute same. Or maybe you're just missing 20 warbond medals to unlock that slug shotgun. Yeah, I was there, buddy. And I've devised a plan that will allow you to farm both of those in the hundreds per hour. There is some luck involved, but it does work. And make sure you take advantage of this farming method before Arrowhead decide to actually nerf it. I come from Destiny 2 and these cheeses get patched very quickly, so try to take advantage of it while it's still here. So here is what you need to do. First, go to a planet which actually has good visibility. In this example, I'm on Crimson. Next, lower that difficulty down to one trivial. You'll see why in a sec. Dive down to the planet and start looking around for all of the points of interest you can find. They won't be marked, but since you're on the lower difficulty, the map will be small enough for you to actually be able to walk across it very quickly. Look around for downed ships and containers in the ground. All of these can have requisition slips, which we kinda don't want, super credits, or warbond medals. Here's where luck is involved, because warbond medals will vary from 1 to 3. Super credits, in general, will be 10, but in some cases you might get lucky hit the jackpot and get 100. Make a mental note of all of the points of interest so you can remember them for later. Or, you know, make a screenshot. Also, listen to your Helldiver operator because when you're near a point of interest, they will actually say they found something interesting and also the chat will show that you found a minor point of interest. There's something here. You should be looking for downed ships which will be identified by a golden beacon which you can see from very far away. Or look for science facilities or holes in the ground where you will find containers that you can open with a grenade or any other type of explosive. After you've collected everything, you should quit out of the game. If you quit out of the game instead of abandoning the mission, it won't register as a failed mission and you can try it again. And that is pretty much the gist of the farm. You just do it again and again and again and again until you reach your goals. Kind of like the gym. I've been doing it for a while now and these are the results you can expect. The first couple of runs will take you a little bit more time since you're going to be familiarizing yourself with the map. Afterwards, it should take you no longer than two, two and a half minutes, three minute stops per run, including the time it takes to to quit out of the game, then come back in and start another mission, it should take you about 4 minutes per run overall. That means you can do this about 15 times per hour. For that time, you can expect a minimum of 150 super credits and at least about 100 warbond medals. Bear in mind, this is actually mind-numbingly boring, but it is very efficient and you can do it while you're watching your favorite series on your other monitor. In terms of how many resources you get, it beats pretty much any other operation you'll do, maybe not by fun, but at least by the pure numbers. In here are some things that you should keep in mind. Yes, you can do this with a buddy and it will actually help you to unlock an extra door that requires both people to press a button at the same time. These can include super credits or warbond medals, however you should keep in mind that both people will then have to quit out of the game, then come back in and party up again. It will take you more time than doing it solo. Another thing which is actually way more important is you should think of doing these maps as planting seeds. Here's what I mean, after you've completed the map, quit out, then come back in, you will find the exact same resources in the exact same places. Maybe they will be in different numbers, but they will be the same types of resources. So you should test out different planets and different missions, because if you need more super credits, you should farm those, or if you need more warbond medals, you should farm those. In general, I think it's smarter to go for warbond medals, because they drop from 1 to 3, and you can get 6, you can get 10 per run, but super credits, you only need one stash to get at least 10 per each run. So targeting warbond medals will maximize value. After you familiarize yourself with the map, I would recommend you start dropping a the edges of it somewhere near an existing point of interest that you know is there, that way you can just hit the ground running every time. From then on, just circle the map and do like Sonic and go fast. My last recommendation in terms of strategy is kind of obvious, but let's just say it just to get it out of the way, do not engage any patrols or any enemies. You're not here for a fight, you're here strictly and only for resources. And lastly, let's talk about optimizing this farm via your loadout. What should you bring? If you have access to it, bring the slugger, because it can open up the container doors with just one shot. It's incredibly easy. If not, you can bring the grenade launcher because it can do the same thing, you just gotta be careful to be away from the blast zone. If even that is not an option, you can bring pretty much any grenade you want, but I would advise on the impact grenade just because it's the easiest one to use in this situation. Equip any type of light armor you have just because it has more speed and better stamina recovery. And that means you can zoom around the map much quicker and get yourself the stamina recovery booster for obvious reasons. You can run faster more often. Finally, this is gonna sound a bit crazy and I'm sure no one has ever told you this before, but I would recommend you bring the jetpack. More mobility means quicker clears means, well, stonks. Any other stratagems don't really matter at all, because you're not going to engage any enemies. Also, do you remember when IGN said this game is paid to win? 
Well, suck it IGN. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Helldivers 2 content. I'll see you out there, Helldiver. Till the next one.